Hi everybody, so today I'm going to do a video on dual filter gas masks because a lot of people keep asking me about those and I have explained before that basically the only purpose of a dual filter gas mask is so it's easier to breathe, there's less breathing resistance as you've got two filters. On models like the Scott GSR like I've got here it lets you change one of the filters while breathing through the other one with an airtight seal, on most masks that's not the case. But in general, it's kind of a convenience thing more than anything more spectacular. So I'll take one filter off and demonstrate that. So with the Scott mask, you can't breathe in through one of these sides because of the weird connector thing they've got, the proprietary thing. Underneath here, there's actually 40mm ports hidden. But these bayonet filters are designed so you can change the filter. So while I've got that one on there breathing through that one, I can get a new filter out there. So I'll try and connect this thing on because I've said before I really don't like how the filters connect on this. They're not as good as 40 millimeters. They're not easy to do, which is I guess why it's good that you can breathe through the other filter at the same time. So that would be one change. Then you could go get your new filter from that side, change the other one, and get the damn thing on. Do that now. Obviously, the disadvantage to masks that have dual filters is that uh, it makes shouldering a rifle more difficult. If you imagine you've got a rifle out, it makes shouldering on it more difficult, especially when you try and aim. So that's why most masks only have the one filter on, so when you're aiming, you can do that, and you can get a cheek weld of the rifle. Uh, that's not the case with dual filter masks, but obviously dual filter masks do make it easier to breathe. When I'm breathing from just one side, there's more filter resistance. Once I get this thing back on. Yep, so, oh, that's on the wrong way, I think. Yep. There we go. Easier to breathe with both on, but as I was saying, this isn't actually um, an ideal way of doing it, in my opinion. Um, so I'm just going to show you some other ways that 40 mm well not even 40 mm but just dual filter ideas on masks. Most of the 3M masks well have dual filters sort of set up. Uh, so let's have a look at some of those. So cheek filter masks are also an example of masks that have uh, two filters on dual filters. There are a couple of cheek filter masks where this isn't the case. Um, the Vietnamese gas mask from the Cold War. Uh, oh it's actually a Chinese one that Vietnam used. I think it was something like the M65, something like that. That was one with only one big uh, tumor-like cheek filter on one side, you know. Bad mask design. Cheek filters are a bad design in general. I have a soft spot for some of the cheek filter masks, but not many. But again, you know, I'm not going to breathe for it because potentially asbestos in the filters, but... There you go. You'd have easier breathing through, you know, filter on each side. Again, not that great for shouldering a rifle, but there you go. So, again, cheek filter masks, nearly all cheek filter masks, with the exception of the Chinese M65, I think it is, and the uh, when the Russians had the PMK prototype, that was a cheek filter. But, you know, most cheek filter masks were dual cheek filters. Um, so, yeah. The issue being with the two filters is they last longer when you've got two filters. Yeah, it's coming in from both sides, but then they expire at relatively the same time as well. So it's easier to breathe and they last twice as long, but then you have to replace two filters, not one, when you come to replace it. So, make of that what you will, it's one advantage with a couple of disadvantages, really. And you also get 40mm masks where you can put two uh, filters on it, uh, just by screwing in two filters on each side. And I think this is personally the best way of doing it, so this is my Avon CT12. As you can see, I freshly uh, lubed it up with silicon lubricant uh, to show you how much I appreciate this mask. <laughs> um, but yeah, the reason this is good is because this has a, the best possible setup for doing these things. So what this mask has is a little blanking plug. I'll show it you in a moment, and you can use that blanking plug like a second exhale valve or a second voice diaphragm and have it on the side you don't want to use a filter, or if you want two filters on the mask, you just um, you know take it off and put another filter on that side. So that's always cool to do. If you really like the dual filter thing, I personally don't really see the point in dual filters on any of these masks, but I mean that's completely up to you whether or not you think that's a good thing or not. Um, but yeah, let me show you that blanking disc. So here's the blanking disc, you can hear it making a rattling noise. 
that's the outside of it because it's got the thing on to help you screw it in. And basically it acts as a second voice diaphragm, sort of a very small one, or an exhale valve. So what you'd do is you'd take off the filter if you didn't want it as a dual setup. You'd get this, you'd put it into the gap, and then you'd tighten that up. And now you've got um, only one filter with an air intake, so now it's only one sided mask. Now if you were into the idea of suffocating yourself, you could get a second blanking plug, take the other filter off, put that in, and suffocate yourself. But the great thing of the blanking oh, shit. the great <laughs> the blanking plug design is that you can take the blanking plug out and switch it to the other side. And I can work out which way. And now where you switched it to the other side, if for whatever reason you wanted, you know, the filter on. So if for whatever reason you wanted it on the other side, you can do, depending if you're a left or right-handed shooter, so that's always a good design. I personally think that's the right way to go around designing one of these. Because you can, um, you know, you have the option of two filters or one, rather than kind of having it forced on you, like the cheek filter design. With the Scott GSR, how that works, yeah, it's the exact same setup. You either have it to, in the 40mm setup and have the blanking plug in, or you have the bayonet filters where it only lets the air in on one side anyway. But, as I said, I always like 40mm filters because they're the kind of the good way of doing it, and not the silly way of doing it. So, let me take that back off just to show you again. Just get your filter. And then you've got your dual filter gas mask. But of course, once you've got two filters on the mask, it weighs it down a bit. It's probably a good jaw exercise, but it's like having, you know, a dumbbell on each side of the mask. Um, it evens the weight out, but, you know, it's not particularly pleasant. Um, and I don't think really it's all that much easier to breathe with two filters on. If you're doing really strenuous exercise with a gas mask on, then maybe you'd appreciate having two filters. It makes sense on the little 3M masks because their filter intake sizes are really quite small, but once you've got on a 40mm mask, it's a bit pointless. But, yeah, there you go. That's the best way of doing it. Uh, cheap filters are obviously the worst way. And the Scott GSR way is kind of interesting, but um, maybe I'll do some more videos where I talk about the Scott GSR because maybe I'm a bit, a bit too harsh on it. Maybe I should um, kiss and make up with Scott GSR. So what do you think?